about to go. Okay. Hello, team. I can't see it on our thing. Ta da! Nah. What? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Um. Okay. Hello. Hello. I think it's working. <laughs> yes. Well, it's not on our. It's not on our. Um. YouTube. It should be. Hey, no. Yay, we're <laughs> live now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Awesome. Now I can sort of see you. <laughs> um, if anyone can hear any snoring, it's not me. It's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Awesome. So cute. He also was not impressed by the episode. No, I'm kidding. Um, are we doing the whole week, Mick? Where have I gone? Where have I gone? Uh oh, what's happened? Oh, we've lost you. Oh, it's because I moved my camera. Oh, no. No, it's me. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. If you're still with us, keep watching past this if you're watching this later. <laughs> yeah, we've sorted it out. We've sorted it out. Um, hello. I haven't spoken to you since last week. I know. And what a week it's been. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I guess. We're stuck. I mean, you're moving around like like a bird, but I'm no, stuck. No, 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 I don't mean that. I meant the show. What are we, we're here to talk about Survivor. Come on now. Yes, yes, we are. Hey, it's it's six episodes down. There's been some huge reactions, hey, to the first, like, week. I feel like um, all these American people are really getting hooked on Australian Survivor. Yeah, to our soon-to-be-American fans. Hello. <laughs> yes, that's how we play Australian Survivor. It's how we play Survivor down, on, down under. Down under. <laughs> Uh, and they're all like, how are they swimming in a dam? Well, what about the crocodiles? They're going to come and get them. Um, but, you know, they show, show, show footage. That's a valid of, question. Well, they show footage of crocodiles, but I'm pretty sure those crocodiles are nowhere near where they're actually filming. Well, they couldn't be because they only have a snake wrangler, not a crocodile wrangler. But they did start the show with someone showing their undies and was it a scorpion or a spider on the undies? Did you see I missed that? it. Oh, I my missed God. it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Shannon showed her undies, and, and there was like a, I think, I, I, someone online said it was a scorpion, like a, a middle mini scorpion, but then they were saying it was a huntsman on the show, so I don't know. Oh, so then a huntsman, like, for those who don't know, our American fans, huntsmen look terrifying, but are completely fine. Yes, they're just scary looking, and then we still squish them because we're mean. Yes, and they crawl up in your car while, they, while you're driving. <laughs> um, I have a bit of a problem. <laughs> uh oh, what? Hold the fort for a moment, please. What's going on? <laughs> Hold the fort. This is live. I know. Carry on. Stop okay. talking about it. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Should be back. I'm, I'm guessing she'll be back. Hmm. Wow. Well, she's not there. Okay. All right. Let's. Oh, just oh. take me off screen. That's fine. There you go. <laughs> we need to get cracking. Let's go. Okay. I'll be honest. You've got a puppy in your lap. We're good. I missed one of the episodes, I'll be honest. So, okay. Mick, take it away. What happened on Sunday night? Okay. We're back to Sunday, which was yeah. the whole two days ago. Uh, brains, this is at the point, that's right, where Braun had, yet, had not yet won an immunity challenge. Yeah. And it was up to... But they've been winning all of the reward challenges, and they still have been. We're like six in a row now, Braun. Yeah. It's stupid. It's actually just dumb now. <laughs> Why is it dumb? I mean, they're obviously just, like, they've been better in challenges, really, Braun, mostly. But they just sort of stuffed up a couple of immunity, immunity challenges with their well, puzzle like, knowledge. I just look at that crank wheel and I'm going back to today today's episode because today's episode is like fresh in the mind mm -hmm. that crank wheel Danny and D Big D who we need to talk about as well could have done it against the four that they had on the other side so it, they are heavily brawn favoured heavily unless they have an all out puzzle one which they haven't yet to do it's not really fair yeah 
True. Well, it was pretty puzzly today. I mean, except I, I didn't think that swimming, the paddle boarding and, and, and winding one was going to be that hard, but they that looks pretty bloody hard, that, that cranky wheel thing. Hard of us, is, no, they made it look like hard work. <laughs> Danny and Danny, big Danny and Danny, made it look easy. That's how it should have been. <laughs> well, it's and all... honestly, kick your damn feet. If you come over here and you are stuck out in the rip and a Bondo rescue guy comes out to save you or myself as a surf lifesaver, kick your feet. <laughs> yes, very good point. You made that on the, on the Twitter. I was very impressed at that point. As a, Thank you. you. Know, you, you, you... <laughs> Um, As someone who's been someone who's trying to pull people in, yes. (laughs) Let's go back to Sunday because this was the start and the end of Benny. We know we hardly saw him in the first three episodes. He didn't really say anything. He was just like cruising along. And then, of course, they introduced Benny as they have been doing with these, you know, montages of introducing people. And we find out that he's straight away a total douchebag. Um, Well, Nick. If yes. you didn't need to know, thank you to the Twitter person who tweeted this. Oh. Um, um, uh, Benny was pro free choice of the no mask thing, whatever. Oh, Benny so, too. Okay, because we know Danny Benny as well. Benny no, as well. Benny as well. Benny's involved as well. So yeah, I didn't need to see it. Benny is a douchebag. Let's move on. <laughs> he also made the point that he spent thirty six hours getting there or something. Uh, I'm presuming he was in LA because I think he lives in LA now or something and oh. he's still got on the show. So I'm guessing they flew him over. They put him in two weeks quarantine. And then, really? Uh, for that, him to do, for him to have one episode and no, and no impact on the show. Apparently. Yeah. You could have put your eye in Mick. We would have done a better job. <laughs> so yeah, Benny, he, he really came over for nothing. Uh, and he was, but he was just such a nothing like pick i'm really surprised that he got on the show in the first place i think i'll hoping for some fireworks with him or that he was gonna you know create some tension with other other survivors but no off another if anybody knows if anybody knows it'd be amazing um please let us know did did the producers have a lot of him and then put it out because they realized he was a bit of a dickhead (laughs) Like that happens though. They will give you a different edit when they yeah. sort of when other things come to light, and maybe they were like, yeah, because that's a, that's a big investment in someone. Sure is. It's a uh, it's a big investment to bring someone over from overseas. I feel like why well, maybe Wade did as well. I mean, she I think she lives overseas as well. So I don't quite understand how these well, people got on the well, show. Well, yeah, and that's odd given the situation. I've no yeah. idea, no idea why why they would. Bring in these people to us, non non celebrities to Australian Survivor. Yeah, but yeah. Sunday night was uh, interesting because it was really Benny versus Simon, and Simon's mm. on the outer. Well, no, Benny and Simon, Simon were, were, were sort of... with the two idols. <laughs> oh, the bloody hell, man! Uh, get me started on, on the idols. We've got to talk about But idols. it's like Oprah. You get an idol, you get an idol, you get an idol. Oh, I mean, I'm jumping all over the place, but the fact that uh, Baden found the idol clue. Uh, Baden found the idol yes. clue, but didn't find the idol. This is Monday night's episode. This is last, yeah. this is Monday nights. So yeah, I'm jumping ahead. Oh, Sunday, done and dusted. Benny was gone. I, I don't think it was a big loss. Um, but, but it also, that was the last time Broad have been in the Mindy, have been in the Tribal yes. Council. So since then, we've had two. Have lost a challenge. And at that stage, Braun were two down compared to Brains. So it was starting yes. to get pretty skewed. Um, and it, it always there's always a bit of a danger when one side gets too many. Yes. Um, but then, yes, yes, yesterday's episode, Monday's episode, finally Brains go back to Tribal and George is, uh, Baden's trying to get this out because Baden thinks he's on the bottom. Baden's a bit of a nothing character, but he's actually, he's pretty good at, at you know, he's pretty good at doing challenges and stuff, but he, he, I think he's struggling at the social game, like big time. What, um, yeah, what that really surprises me, I, you got to wonder what he's like as, as a person, you know, he's a guy who's worked in a team, that cycling is a team race. Oh, it sort of is and it isn't, like, but cycling's very lone isolation too, like, wow. I know not, you work not, in teams. Not if you're doing, did he do Tour de France? He did, was yeah. Big, yeah, so Tour de France is team-based. And if you don't tow the team line, this is how Lance Armstrong got into so much trouble. 
uh, because it was forcing the team to do it as well. You mean he um, took steroids? I mean, that was probably what he had to do. No, I mean, we, yes, <laughs> but, but the big the big thing is that yeah, there was it was a team mentality, um, and and so you know, uh, well, he should he should know how to he should know how to get along in a team. It's simple as. Yeah, well, I'm surprised. Uh, yeah, he's not that great. He's not that great at making a line. It seems like there's this like offshoot, scrappy tr- sort of alliance, which is George Way. Well, it was. Uh, yeah. Spoiler. Uh, Baden <laughs> and Car. Car. Just the four. So that, was that it? Yeah. Yeah, that that uh, we'll get to it, but that has now been uh, destroyed. Um. But then last yes. night, of course, Mitch was thrown under the bus. Uh. Massively, oh. because George rocks up to trouble with the Hang friggin'. On. Hang on, you are cutting oh. over so much stuff there. <laughs> Firstly, oh my God, how serious was Danny for the for the for the challenge? The challenge was uh, the roll, the good old rolling log. They must just have that in the like back lot of Channel Ten somewhere. Uh, we've got to get your other opponent off. Yeah. Holy crap, did Danny, who has actually not done a lot, they haven't put a lot her in a lot, so she's probably got a lot more to come. Mm. Um, did she square up like the <laughs> most serious person for a challenge? Oh, yeah, she, like, she's a serious person oh. just in general, Danny. Like, she's well, I've seen a crack I did smile see yet. Her, I did see her try and have a little joke with uh, Jonathan tonight. She handles back the, the idol, and I thought, um, I thought. I don't know. It felt like there was a bit of familiarity there, but uh, hmm, who knows? Um, but yes, the the challenge was was obviously done and dusted. But it was yeah, good old. But oh, my favourite bit! Come on, man, you can't go past a good old a ball crush. Oh my god, was that Andrew? <laughs> Andrew. Yes. If Andrew didn't already probably have severe dehydration and unable to produce children, <laughs> he ain't gonna be giving you no more children now. Yeah. Oh, he did the full split, split over the log, smack down. Ouch. <laughs> um, oh, well. Anyway. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew's, what do you think of Andrew so far? He's been a bit under He's actually though. really crucial to, it's him and Joey that are crucial to the um, challenges. Like, they have been, they have been winning, um, mm. They've been winning the challenges for so long, like the the, the throwing, the aiming ones. It's been them. Yeah, oh, totally. That the um, reward challenge tonight. Yeah, yeah. Like brains were way behind, yeah. and then Joey was it? Joey and Andrew came in and just like yeah. nailed them, bang, bang, bang. Yeah. And if it wasn't for that one little bit of lid, which looked like ten, five centimeters lower, two centimeters lower, uh, they would have won it. The yeah. Lamingtons. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh Jesus! Can we just can we just take a moment to be appalled at the rewards that have been given out? Yeah, they're pretty ordinary so far. I don't. You got the budget? Is it because you paid the money to bring Benny over that you don't have a budget to give them decent rewards? Maybe it it, <laughs> it does feel very strange that. They haven't had a decent reward. Or maybe they're saving it up for later, yeah. But you, you want to see those reward challenges where they have, like, massive spreads, you know, and there's burgers and there's pizzas. Me. Oh, my stuff. God. Like I said, any of the American ones are full on. They'll fly you away. You get a spa day. You get, yeah. I Do you actually, last night, um, yesterday's one, for some reason, reminded me of the insane one that had um, cake. So the whole thing was full of cakes, but inside the cake, this is an American bird season, inside the cake was either the idol or something. Yeah. And the first person walked in was like, well, I can either be nice and leave food or I could smash all the cakes to find it. Yes. Um, there was cakes up the wall. <laughs> that was a mess. I remember that episode. That was oh, like... That's what reminded me. Um, because um, that's when Simon found for his I second idol yeah. in amongst the toasty makers. Um, <laughs> yeah, and he got started. caught. And this is the best part. Gerald saw him get it. Good old Gerald, isn't How he? Good. I'm glad he's still around. I love him. I'm Do really liking Gerald now. Yeah. It does, oh, I, yeah. Yeah. 
have to be cows, Gerald. Like... <laughs> and he got and, and they won the challenge where he got the milk and he's just like animal based products. <laughs> <laughs> Right here, Joe. Uh, can't wait to see him uh, go up, well, go up against Emmett at some point. Uh, oh yeah, but Emmett. Having said that, Emmett's plant based, but he also yeah. ate the bacon last week. So did he? I am uh, not surprised. I think you just eat what you cook, to be honest. He won uh, bacon. It was on Sunday night, I think. He ate the bacon. Uh, oh. Even though he's did they even based. like focus on it? Oh, uh, you mentioned it. Like he said, oh, this is my first bacon in however long. And, Oh, Everyone God, he like, must have been like, you, imagine, imagine not having bacon and also being starving. That would probably be as close to an orgasm you could get <laughs> eating food. <laughs> oh, bacon. Bacon is good, though. It's very good. Bacon is good. Bacon is amazing. I'm just sad it comes from pigs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so Monday night, uh, yeah, Braun's won the first challenge. They got toasties. The, inter- um, the interesting thing is that Simon's got two idols. But Gerald only knows about one, but yeah. he doesn't know that anyone knows he's got one. Yeah. So he so at could, the moment, it could Simon... trip him up. It could trip him up in that he might go into a challenge, into a tribal, being all confident, thinking nobody knows. And he might he's still get... got another one, though. But, but he, might get, other... he might get voted out and not play it. Any of them. But I mean, he might go home with two idols in his pocket. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Imagine that. Ooh, that's a possibility. I think someone else has an American survivor has gone home with two idols I believe, in their pocket. I before. believe that is the case, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah look. Uh, yeah, so Simon, what do you think of Simon? I, I, am, I'm, I'm, I told you, as I said last time, his leadership skills are, are like just natural. Um, and as, and like tonight's challenge, for example, he was running that rope. He was, you know, he's, he is, whether you like it or not, he is actually crucial to them winning the channel challenges. Oh, totally. He's running that and, tribe, but he's running that tribe, but they still want to get him out, which is, you know, yeah. because they see him as a threat, but it's too early to kick him out really. Cause he's what would be amazing is him and George teaming up. That, that would not happen. They are completely <laughs> polar opposites. Like, completely but I different think they're people. both pretty keen to win. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, uh, yeah, but... Or if Simon went over to the Brains trial. I feel like Simon's going to make merge. I feel like... Oh, he has to. He has he to. Pretty much, if he plays it right now, he should make his way to the final four, final, final week. Like, if he plays it right. Maybe, maybe, yeah, but he's got to be careful because he's he comes off pretty arrogant. He comes off as being a leader, and he's always going to be a target, even even though he's good at challenges. He's just too good at challenges. I just don't think you can like, uh, yeah. But well, when it comes think. to if, if it comes down to merge, he's still around. He is massive. He's going to be one of those guys that just wins immunity every week because pretty much he's Simon. Because usually it goes to the guys, let's be honest. honest uh, usually the, guy, the guys are winning and that was what was so amazing about Brooke is that she was one of the few female contestants and that she was in the All-Star and then I'm not sure which season before that. Mm. She was one of the contestants that like fully um, she was the one that could actually beat the boys and that's, that's right. what I loved about her actually. Um, yeah, because anyway. sometimes there's challenges where it's better to be lighter and you, you're on a pole. Sure, but she was just yeah. muscle to weight ratio. It was probably Totes. out of control. I was like, um, so yeah, so Simon has two idols, but then it didn't really matter because Brains went to tribal and that's where we had the blind side. Bum. I just want to point out that if it was real Survivor, the last person you're sending home is a doctor. <laughs> this is true. Pity's a douchebag, though. Uh, poor old Mitch. Not very likable guy. Um, he really wasn't in the end. No. Uh, I think a little bit more EQ and a little, a little less IQ for Mitch would be helpful. <laughs> totally. Um, but he, he, he didn't see it coming, which... The thing is, he wasn't even talking to anyone on that after. He didn't think he was in danger. He didn't even try and make alliances. Didn't even. He was just sitting there. And like I think someone mentioned that he was just sitting in the middle. He was just like trying to cruise under the radar. And, yeah. And then the weird thing is, he got he got voted out. George was voting for someone else. Rachel. No, no, that's right. Yeah. Rachel. Yeah. He was trying to get Rachel out, and then he just gets he got really upset when Mitch goes. And I'm like, George, you wanted Mitch gone yeah. at the very beginning, so what, why have you changed your tune? 
That's weird. Well, because Mitch was on his side at that point, wasn't he? Like they were not at the start. Of... They were all like like hitting heads because Mitch was like running no, no, things. At that polish. point, oh yeah, they yeah. Were, that the plan was to go in and vote together, but Mitch, one man, last man, determined to stay in his lane, um, <laughs> votes um, votes for George. So on his own. Um, but the good news is they flushed out George's idol. Um, yeah, well, and... it was pretty obvious he had to play it, even though he didn't have to play oh, it in the end, because the only the person who voted for him. The move I have ever seen is someone coming back to camp with an idol on their chest displaying it before you even go to tribal council. Genius! It was pretty weird. Uh, no, I like it. I've never it. seen it, like, really happen before tribal. No. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. It did throw the cat amongst the pigeons. This is what George is doing. He's, he's he's trying to mix it up, trying to make people, you know, wonder what's going on. But it, it, mean, it's only going to last so long. He, but the thing is, he did two. He did the two. That what he should have done was wear the wear the wear the idol and not and not play it, or not show anyone and play the idol, and then he would have got rid of somebody. So I don't. He, yeah. he made a mistake there. Um, there's obviously very much cracks showing, as can be seen in uh, in tonight's episode. All right, well, let's move on to tonight. Uh, yeah. Huge, huge episode. Um, helped by, by the fact that, again, um, idols were just in play everywhere. Like, there's been like four yeah. idols found in the first six episodes, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Five idols found. No. So George, yeah, George has played two and he had one play for him, not to give away a, a spoiler. No. And Simon is holding two. That's it, that's it. But this time it wasn't George who found it, it was Car, but they were both looking together and she just saw the string yes. hanging from the. I mean, it, it still blows me away that they can just randomly be at the right tree with the right thing. Like, it's just, like aren't there a lot of trees? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think there are. <laughs> they look like a I trees. don't think there are. <laughs> really don't. Um, yeah, so I mean, of course, to the challenges, um, Way and George were the weakest link again in the first challenge, yeah. Um, and with as we were saying before, Joey and Andrew being the strongest link on the bronze team, uh, sorry, the brains team on the bronze team, it was fairly, um, the bronze team was fairly, um. That was pretty really even. No even, one really stuffed yeah, it. I think Shannon listen, was at the end in that first challenge, but uh, she she still went through had to pretty, go last. pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So they were pretty quick through, uh, and of course they won. They won lamingtons. Sorry, uh, I don't and even know if I be forced to eat them. And of course, which we said Garrett was happy about, and then they got to take over someone from the brains tribe, and they surprisingly chose Joey. Um, yeah, there's some sort of bromance going on between Simon and Joey, and they don't even know each other. Um, also, that, to be fair, that would be a huge alliance if yeah. those two got together. And, that, and this is what they're angling at. Simon needs a, an, an alliance member. Joey yeah. is looking forward to when he's they're joining together and he wants to find people to work with. So there's huge tactics going on there for Joey. And, and look, and Joey's trying to be the king. He's trying to be the, the, the Luke Toki of this, this season. He's trying to be the guy who's like, yeah, I'm the ah, king, yeah, I'm yeah. running the show, I am running, yeah, yeah. Hasn't quite got the catchphrases yet, but he's going to get there. Um, yeah, where are the catchphrases here? <laughs> well, no, snakes. Oh, well, you know, George has got the king of banks down and, uh, you know, yeah, I'm sure there'll, um, there'll be some nicknames thrown around soon. I tell you what, uh, MVP goes to Jonathan as per usual with his, like, brains have got pieces everywhere. <laughs> His brains and ball. Just yeah. listen to him. I'd, I'd probably watch it just to hear his. Um... Oh, Jonathan's awesome. awesome. Oh, and then it's in way. It has to go flush. Okay, you keep saying it way. They're not listening, babe. Right? <laughs> um, um, yeah. So, yeah. So, but this... I don't know that Joey pretty much gave all the information away. Yeah, but it wasn't worth much, like, really. No. Oh, uh, they were, probably didn't show us everything. But knowing that there's a division, if you manage to get through merge and you know who's still around, you probably have a good vibe of who's there to play. Um, anyway, uh, that's not even that important. Um, then they go into the next challenge. I didn't realize that Joey stays the night. How's that? I just oh, did he? I didn't so 
Wait, are you yeah, sure? They actually, yeah, because he came back in with the bronze team the next morning. Oh, upset. Okay. Yeah, and I thought that was very odd that you actually have to sleep the night over there. <laughs> so a lot of stuff could have been said. True. A lot of stuff. Um, so then... Uh, then they, um, they head towards the immunity challenge. Uh, yes. After this. Yes. The, which, which the paddling one. To be, yeah. Which, again, I think was heavily brawn because they... Well, the other thing, don't forget, is that brawn had been eating... Brains have had no food. You need brain food. You need brain food. I thought you'd be excited when Flick was in there. I thought... Oh, look, she was just smashing it. Smashing it. Yeah, but Jonathan's crack. Oh, well and well in her, like, this is in her wheelhouse. Well, oh, yeah. I mean, it's a board that was like a third of her size. <laughs> yeah. And then she's just getting pulled back. Was she kicking? I didn't notice. On the I way hope back. She, I think she bloody was, because she knows. <laughs> Um, um, but in the end, Braun won it. Super. Well, when it got to, it got to the puzzle, but Braun were always ahead in the puzzle. I didn't well, really see it losing it. it. They didn't actually realize. were putting it together easier than the brains. Yeah. I must admit, again, I oh, cannot forget Rachel, who's been not much of a player, was the swing vote last week. Swung the wrong way, got George upset. Holy crap, that was an awkward family dinner when George was having a go at Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> So this Rachel's a teacher, right? She was talking like a teacher. She is a teacher. She had a teacher moment. She's yeah. like, we need to come together and be unified. Yeah. And then and then George is all like, oh, I'm being attacked like every good millennium does, <laughs> millennial does. And I thought, you're too old to be doing that. And then I'm confused about how old he actually is because he also said he'd been watching Survivor since he was 11. And I'm oh, like, yeah. You, it's I been gone a long time, though. I know, but I'm very confused about his actual age. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so Rachel had her little moment. Uh, but I gotta say, like, where are you? Where where are the actual brains in the brains? The brawn we can see, the brains we are not seeing. Yeah, well, Mitch is gone. He was in the top two percent of IQs or some shit. What? Um, Did, oh, I love it. I love it when they ask Joey and they're like, "Oh, are you like an an engineer?" And he's like, "No, I run the business." <laughs> Like, Head of partnerships. Yeah, wait till you chat to, to Kara and holding hands is her like superpower. <laughs> she didn't. I was waiting for a bit more of that. It didn't really happen. No, there's been no hand holding. No. There's been no hand holding. I'm very upset. Uh, um, uh, maybe we we'll wait till they come to whole episode where Kara just holds hands with everybody. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. <laughs> um. So yes. Yeah, so they go to the challenge. There's a bit of board. There's a bit of brain stuff. The brain slows, and George is. Shit and bricks. <laughs> George is shit and bricks again because he knows he's going to go. Like it's pretty obvious. That's and it, and and I think I commented while I was watching it. I bet he finds an idol. But the thing is, you know, when you're in trouble, you're going to go looking for idols, so you've got more chance of finding one. Of course. And oh no, no, this is what I love too. I made a comment about this too. I love that. Um, It was like Georgia. So after Georgia, the outburst, Georgia, the forensic uh, psychologist. Who we only just got introduced to. Yep. I really thought she was gone. But <laughs> yeah, I think, me too. I, I, I think literally the producers had got to the end and gone, we don't, we don't have any footage of Georgia. <laughs> we don't have any. What is she doing? No, George follows, Georgia follows him out and's like, oh, I'm going to read, I can read her. Um, sure, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, so it wasn't even that time he found the idol. It was with Kara later on. Yep. They find it in the tree, hanging, just hanging there. I super thought it was going to be in that black black hole bit there. Oh, yeah, because I thought the camera was focusing on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. look where the camera is looking. <laughs> look. Anyway, um, so they find it, and George, George did kind of assume that she should play it for him. He so here's the trick, it. right? They were together, but Kara found it fair and square. It yeah. wasn't, George wasn't involved, but because they were out looking together, I think she felt like she had some sort of alliance with him, with George. Yeah. Enough good Baden's in there. Well, they seem to have made a bit of a strong alliance, which yeah. could actually play well later on. Yeah, things. maybe, maybe, yeah. if they stick around. But Yeah, I mean, if George, if George, if they make it go to the mini challenge and tribal council next week, next, yeah, it'll tricky for um so, so i think it's baden who comes yeah. up with a big idea to s s swap the idols around 
Uh, the hot potato. The hot potato. The hot potato. Yeah, that's that's was... never been done before either. Never seen that. And that was uh, when I, when he said that, I actually thought that's a really bloody good idea because it will confuse things a little bit. And and if, and, if, and, and, and during tribal. The other guys, the other guys were sort of, oh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to stick to the plan, blah, blah, blah. They weren't quite sure. But in the end, they did because what else could they do? I mean, they didn't have time to yeah. for formulate a new plan. Yeah. But I mean, it was pretty, pretty brilliant play. And then, and then. I mean, they were in a, good, yeah, they were in a position where they had to rely on Wei. Wei was the big yeah, side. But, but boy, did he play the strings to get to Wei. Big time. And I she, think she, she's got she's got big ups to, to weigh on Lila. Everyone's saying Queen way. She did what she wanted to do. She didn't just feel like she had to go George's way. I quite like that. I don't know if I agree. Really? I don't know if I agree. No, I think um, I think there was... I guess I'm looking at George. If you watch the show, I really do think this is a distressed man. When George was saying, I've seen guys, I think, I think they cut it out, but I think there is a bit of duty care there, and it literally probably is because... Honestly, I think if he got some sleep and some food, you'd see a different George, right? But he is he is kind of breaking. Like, what the hell was up with wearing his buff like that? So, cause, because... Look, what do you call it? A buff? It's a buff. It's Drop a, your buff. A buff. Oh, buff. Sorry. <laughs> well, buff in Spanish, so whatever. All right, um, yeah. Sorry, I just... just from oh, Spanish, right? Spanish now. Um, yeah, so he was wearing a buff like that. Look, he's not okay. Um, <laughs> he's not okay. You're laughing. He's actually seriously not okay. How it, it's, it, this guy is just a loose unit. Like, he, how would you be after not sleeping and not eating for two weeks? Sure. And then he did cry a lot at, at tribal. He um, oh just my God. bawled. He, yeah. It was just a man breaking down. He does have some problems on TV. Mm, um, look, so he. He was obviously got up, he got um he does it really personally the way that but for someone who who takes that personally you got to be worried about how he takes politics back like spin because that's that's ruthless so uh, uh, to to George's credit and I don't I'm not a huge George fan but he didn't tell Cara to do anything he didn't tell Cara to play for no. him he didn't and he seemed genuinely moved when she he did. didn't say that she had to um. He shouldn't have been that upset when she did it because, in the end, that's what he wanted. Obviously, that's what he would have. Oh, well, no, because wanted. if you listen to him, and I think even Jonathan made the comment, he's like, "It sounds like you've given up," and I think it, I think he had. I think he had given up because but he, why he was played it well, didn't he? He played it well. well I don't think I don't right. think that's the case. I, I genuinely see a man in distress, and there's a borderline <laughs> duty of care. <laughs> And they sent home the doctor. So I do think there's a problem. There. I don't know. I, I just, I have a, just a basic, basic mistrust of politicians. Like, I just don't trust them at yes, all. Yes, but George isn't really a politician. No, no, but he wants to be. So he's practicing. He's a politician in training. And so he's training to basically just say well, what he needs to do. he to come on the show because he will never be a politician. He, they're going to, they're going to, like. No, but he wants to be. And he's training and he's trying to do all of the things that a politician does. And that's the stuff that he, I don't trust. I think he probably deluded himself in thinking that he'd be super popular with people. Yeah. And um, and he's probably absolutely shot the nail in the... He's, actually, he's ruined his chance of being a political party member. They're Maybe. not going to... Absolutely. I'm calling it. All those people in Bankstown probably love him. I don't know. I got... Well, we'll see. We'll see. There is a lot of hate for him online. Yeah. There's a lot of dislike online for a few people I'm kind of surprised about. But anyway, Kara plays the idol for him. George gets upset. Kara wanders off. Or does she? Holy shit. So I, I, I wrote on Twitter that oh, that was one of the dumbest players I've seen on Solo. Kara playing yeah. the idol for George. No, was I've just making it herself so vulnerable. And she she went out. Like, because barring what happened person. next. Oh, but it was dumb. Like, if you want to win Survivor, you don't do that. Like, it's just crazy. Well, I don't know, because don't forget, if you get that far, it does come down to a council. A council? But generally, people give it to, both mainly the people get to the end of people that have pissed off someone. I I did not see the twist coming, but you see, so all of a sudden, you see the camera following Carl walking our way from tribal, and you're like, what? They don't ever do that. And 
then she walks up to like a sign and the sign says oh hello you can now get out of the other tribe whoa that is huge i i think i have seen this before but it's very rare you don't see this very often where someone gets kicked out and then saved and sent to the other tribe that's huge uh, yeah, I definitely thought that there was going to be an island, uh, but I don't think they're doing that this season. So she's, not, she's just rocking just... into the other camp, and they're going to get to the. Why did they give her keys? They gave her keys for some reason. Keys? I didn't see keys. Yeah, she goes, "Oh, I got keys," and I thought, "Whoa, are they going to send her to a cavern to do another <laughs> tribe there? That is like the best case scenario." Maybe she just needed the car to get to the other camp. It was a fair way away, you know. <laughs> Oh, it's very odd. But, yeah, so if you saw the promo after, she is going to be part of the the, the, uh, the Brawn tribe. An empath on the Brawns. Woof. Uh, big, big I'd call. like to see the forensic psychologist over on the Brawn side. She'd probably be pulling her out in two seconds. I sort of wondered, because I feel like the producers, the people in the show really wanted George to stick around because I think they think he's a ratings puller. And so I, I, I he, wondered. He is. He's fun to watch. It yeah, is like, yeah. I mean, look, i got to be saying, until the last 40, 10, 15 minutes of tonight's show, he's been quite fun to watch. He's but... entertaining. You're right. And, and I think they, yes. they recognise that. And so I reckon they set this up to save him, thinking that he was going home. I don't know, because Cara, I think, for that move, a lot of people who are big fans of the show are annoyed with her, like yourself saying it was a dumb move. Um, like me. but I, I, I think people, I mean, I'm a big fan, but there's some people who probably just go, oh my gosh, that's a nice thing to do. And such a crappy time that everyone's having a crappy, dirty situation. Someone actually was a genuine human being. Nah, Survivor's not a nice game. You gotta be uh, tough. You gotta be hard. Come on, T. Nah. I don't, I don't agree. I think it was a great move. <laughs> well, this is and why. Yeah, but to be fair, I, look, it does seem like how many lifelines has George got? Like, this, yeah. that would have been, if that's the case, that would have been lifeline number four. They want him to stick around. They really do. Yeah. And at some point, if you keep throwing and keep giving him um, uh, second chances like that, the, the audience will turn against you. And even I will, because it just gets a bit ridiculous. But yeah. at some point, um, yeah, I think he's got a little bit more in him. And then maybe, maybe once they merge, I don't know if he's going to make merge. I don't nah, know. But they might mix the tribes up first anyway uh, at some point. I reckon that's probably going to come next week. Yeah, that's probably not that far off, actually. I'll, I'll mix them up um, because they never stay the same. But then there's always the original brawn and the original brains, and then they always have those alliances. But um, they'll, they'll yeah, throw I think it'll be a... It'll be a um, it and may, I think that's going to save it's going to save average. people like Simon or Way or someone who's on the edge. They're yeah, going to be yeah, yeah. Saved yeah. by have the you, have you, mix. Have you watching it? Have you changed your predictions about who might come out on top? Well, certainly my prediction about Mitch was wrong. You know, someone who I think is going to go really far. I haven't watched it now. Is Chelsea? I think she's going to go. She's just quietly sitting there, isn't she? She's got quietly sitting there. When you, when we get to merge, if she, I'm presuming she makes it because she's not making any enemies i think she's going yeah. to kick ass in the solo challenges i reckon she's so strong she's so light and she's like she's just got like she'll be able oh, to outlast the challenges. Anyway. she makes it that far yes i just don't like the fact that she's sided with the boys the four that were there obviously that's a bit broken down now is she um, still with the simon is she in that alliance yeah she's well she? it seems to have broken down a little bit oh uh, gerald yeah, so simon bit... chelsea and one more no, Gerald's not with Simon. Oh, no, you're right. Oh, Emmett, 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 Emmett. Chelsea, Simon. Yellow bike pan, Emmett. Oh, God, these pants. I've seen. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, we should wrap it up. We should wrap it up. Um, excellent. Good recap. I might actually take some notes about the other two episodes before I come next week because I forgot about a lot of stuff. Oh, mate, there was just a lot happen. And I do love the fact that they're doing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, because you sort of just, yeah. you get a good hit, bring yeah. you into the week. They're but long episodes, though. They are very long. Pretty much an hour and a half, aren't they? Half an hour ads. Yeah, the ads are... So... <laughs> but um, I don't, I mean, look, we shouldn't just too much, because potentially, like, you know, down the line would not say no to ads. <laughs> in our things but there are a lot of ads and you can tell the show's going well because channel 10 is just shoving them in yep. um anyway yeah all good another 
Surviving Australia. Look forward to next recap. week. Yes. Right. Um, have a good week. Yes. Enjoy. Enjoy the Bachelor. <laughs> the Bachelor. What? Mm. Oh.